sit here for a minute. <laughs> we have lowered our standards. We have no moral codes. We have no ethics. We have no reverential fear for the house of God. I, Lord, help me somebody. Whoo, uh, glory to God. But this is the hour where God is going to shift things into gear. Now, God does everything detailed and in order. You just think that he let things get out of control because he didn't know what he was doing. He allowed the pressure because the more pressure you go through, the more you produce. But he don't want you to start sinning when he allowed the enemy to tighten the rod up on you. Because he knows when you come through this, you're coming out with power. You're coming out with an anointing. You're coming out with authority. You're coming out with some hell raising, devil stomping, tongue talking, all power from on high. So let me get to my point and close. Here's the key. Those that know their God. So the missing element is no relationship. I want relationship with a preacher. But I disregard my provider, my way maker, my way out, my redeemer, the one that can heal, the one that can save my rebellious skin, the one that can put my family back together again. I don't have a relationship. I'm going to tell you something. Pressure should have pushed us. To God. But some of us, we allowed it to pull us further away. This is an hour. Some of you all said, you know, I, 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 I can't wait to 2012 because things are going to change. I'm going to tell you something. As time increases wickedness. I know y'all don't like this. Y'all want to go to the hallelujah church. Hallelujah. That's about all you want. But in the midst of chaos, there's a people that's been in obscurity, that's been on the backside of the desert, that's been eating locusts and wild honey, that's been asking God, why me? When is my time? When am I coming out of this? And I don't want to come out just to be known by men. I want to be known of you. I want you to be pleased with my life. I want the devil to recognize who I am. I want you to to know that I got power, baby. I want you to know that I don't just go to church because I ain't got nothing else to do. But when I speak, I want things to happen. When I declare, I mean I want things to happen. Oh, come on up in here, somebody. We're living in an hour now where the power of God is getting ready to increase in the body of Christ like never before. You talking about signs, wonders, and miracles, baby. You ain't seen nothing yet. There is a remnant people that's tired of the norm and I'm one of them. I don't know about you but I want to see the manifold wisdom and power of God. I'm ready to see exploits. I'm ready to 
to see blind eyes open. I'm ready to see deaf ears open. I'm ready to see the lame walk. I'm ready to see cancer drop off. I'm ready to see AIDS drop off. Is it anybody here that believe God is about to endow his church with a new strength? Somebody say hallelujah. How do you get to know God? You get to know him by relationship and through your struggles. Some of you never would have called on him. If you never had the last storm Woo, that you went through. Some of you never would have reached out to him if you could have reached to somebody else that could sustain you. But when my heart was overwhelmed, I feel something within me. I couldn't look to no mother. I couldn't look to no father. Folk didn't understand me. But I said, lead me to the rock. That's higher than I am. I'm telling you right now, God is wooing his people. Come out to me. All ye that labor and are heavy laden and I I'll give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. For I am meek and lowly in heart. And you shall find rest unto your soul. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Take off your yoke and put on my yoke. Because I'm getting ready to take you to a place that you've never been before. Look at this. Some of the people in this hour. God said it. Watch this. The stars are falling. Because there's a changing of the guard in this new dispensation. The normal now is walking with God when you don't know where he's completely shoot, taking you. It's called transitioning. It's called not being so stuck in a place that when they tell you, Abraham, get thee out of thy country and let them folk alone that's been tagging along, that's been bringing you down. Get rid of them folk that still want to get high. I done called you the holiness. You got to put that down. Y'all ain't going to say nothing. Oh, get rid of folk that still want to pull you into their club because I'm calling you into holiness and I can't use you if you're being used by everybody else. Y'all looking real funny. Praise the name of Jesus. But those that know their God. I'm going to tell you, man, I, I want to know him. I want to know him. Do you remember when you first got saved? How you used to go after him and love him as a deer panted for the water brook. But now we've gotten so consumed with all these other appetites. And I got to have this and I got to have that. And I got to do this and I got to be there. That we have been so wrapped up in stuff that we have totally eliminated God out of our lifestyle. The only God we get is when we walk into the church on a Sunday. Sunday morning, and we call ourselves giving them a half wave, and then you're looking at the clock, looking at me funny, because I'm trying to tell you to set your house in order, get your life together, because God is pulling us back. I don't ever want to forget what God has done for me. 
I didn't get in this to be popular. I fell in love with him because he picked me up when folks said I wasn't going to amount to nothing. When folks crossed me out, God said I got a plan and a purpose for your life. Y'all looking like you've always had it all together. But I serve him because he loved me when I didn't love myself. And I not only came into this thing because I wanted people to know my name, but if you know me, I'm pleased with that. And not only that, it's an indictment indictment against the church. Amen. We want to be saved. We want people to know us, but we don't want to do anything concerning the kingdom of God. Something is wrong. 